I am glad to present Rudolf von Rittner as Florian Geyer from 1924 by Lovis Corinth. Last Man Standing The knight is a leitmotif in Lovis Corinth's work, culminating in his self-portrait in armor of 1914. Of all the paintings on this theme, Corinth most often depicted Florian Geyer. Descended from a Franconian noble family, he fought for the freedom of the peasants during the peasant wars of the Reformation, first diplomatically and then militarily, leading the legendary Schwarzenhofen, black troops. The name derives from the black uniforms with which Geyer dressed the peasants willing to fight. During the Napoleonic occupation, the freedom fighter Florian Geyer was sung about by the Romantics, and the Free Corps die Schwarz Schar, founded in 1813 by Major von Lutzow, succeeded the Schwarzer Hoffen. It was against this historical background that Gerhard Hauptmann wrote the revolutionary drama Florian Geyer, which premiered at the Deutsches Theater in Berlin in 1896. While the actor Rudolf Rittner, who would later appear in Fritz Lang's films, initially played the role of Schaeferhens, he took over the leading role in the new production at Berlin's Lessing Theater in 1904, again directed by Emil Lessing, which established his fame as an actor. Hauptmann himself praised the acting. He wrote to Hugo von Hoffmannsthal, It went quite well with Florian Geyer. In any case, I had the great pleasure of seeing the play again in an admirable performance. And Lovis Corinth was so taken with Rittner's performance that he painted an oil portrait of him in the role of Florian Geyer in 1906. After two further graphic versions in 1915 and 1921, Corinth returned to the painting a year before his death and almost 20 years after the oil painting to create this graphic version in 1924. Even the inscription in the picture was taken over. This proves all the more the importance of the knight and freedom fighter for Corinth's self image. The oil painting, in particular, proclaims the single minded determination to fight to the last for the values defended, manifested in the oil painting by the tattered flag held out to the enemy. There is a parallel with Rainer Maria Rilke's 1899 story The Cornet, in which the protagonist goes down with the flag that he first saved at the risk of his life. Consequently, the portrait is also a self portrait, and the knight's armor is not an academic costume or an ironic refraction but an expression of Corinth's self-image, which also includes his self-representation as an artist. The secession poster for the exhibition of his life's work in 1913 depicts Florian Geyer. Art is also a struggle, the will to gain more and more ground through one's work. In this sense, Corinth is an avant-gardist without being part of the avant-garde. He is a lone fighter, not a member of a fighting group, Florian Geyer without his Schwarzenhofen, all alone. For Corinth, this fight had its own fateful dimension. It was the fight with and against his own body after the paralysis caused by the stroke he suffered in 1911. And if we compare the exemplary oil painting with the late etching, for example the shape of the head or the left arm, the ductus itself seems like a battle event from which the knight emerges. This gives the etching its own artistic quality compared to the oil painting. Thank you for your attention. I hope I have been able to show you the qualities of this work of art.